Hello, this is Harry Jonasson from Tuyr, and you're watching The Offering. How is this new touring experience so far? This has been uh, wonderful so far. It's our first uh, U.S. headlining tour in um, oh a long time, long time. eight yeah. or nine years, and and um, it's been great, uh, over far over our expectations. So uh, you think you'll come back here more often? Absolutely, absolutely. It's been slow lately because we've uh, been in studio and uh, right. well, our home studio has been taking a long time. And um, now this album's about ready to release, and uh, we're going to do some more touring after that. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this new album. Can you tell us anything about <coughs> it? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's, uh, well, uh, it could be a little bit different than, than the previous mm. albums, because uh, Terje and Gunnar has, have been more, more involved in the songwriting process, and they don't write music precisely the way that I do. Um, so... Um, the, the um, styles are diverging a little bit. There's there's like more influences, and uh, but I still arrange the choirs and and the vocal melodies mostly. So it still sounds like Tuir, but with with a slightly different style in some places. Um, and the songs that I've written are, are are like the same old, same old. So uh, there's something for for the those who like the standard Tuir style, and something for people who might like something that sounds a little bit different. Will you have also another mythology concept for this album? Yeah. Because that's what you like most, right? Yeah, that's what I like most. So, so I have a mythological concept for it. And uh, there are some, um, also with some angles to, to uh, present day politics and, and issues. Instead, uh, your latest album released in 2013, Valkyria or Valkyria? Yeah, very Valkyria. good, very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you feel about that album now that all these years passed by? Uh, it's, it was a good album. Um, there are some, always some details on it I wish uh, I had seen and uh, changed before we, we released it. But that's, it's like that with every album, and, uh, except Ragnarok maybe. Um, and I'm hoping with this album we'll have worked through it properly because we had had a lot of time for it. Uh, but. Yeah, Valkyria was our best album so far, uh, numbers-wise at least. It sold more than the other albums, and um, uh, people still buy it. And um, uh, all in all, um, I'm very satisfied with it. You still identify with the lyrics and the concept yes, of the yes, album? Yes, definitely, definitely. It's probably the closest album to us. You sort of change some opinions slowly over time, and, right. and something I wrote maybe 10 years ago, I don't stand by anymore, yeah. but that does not go for Vachira. It, it probably represents our, or my opinions at the moment, yeah. And you also had that one song, The Lay of Our Love, We Live Christine, yeah. which was a beautiful duet. Thanks. Uh, how that collaboration happened? Um, first, there was a collaboration uh, live at Wacken, I don't remember which year, maybe 12 or 13. Uh, I sang with uh, Leaves Eyes, um, for, for live for a show at uh, Wacken, um, and so we d decided to return the favor and ask her if she wanted to do some guest vocals for us. And uh, I had that song particularly well suited for, for female vocals, and, and before I wrote the lyrics she had uh, accepted to, to uh, sing it with us on, on album. So I wrote the lyrics with all that in mind, so it was just a mutual collaboration. Uh, I met them uh, years before that and um, I, I came to know Leaves Eyes because we were on the same label, Napalm Records um, and um, I liked their music a lot uh, I met them and, and uh, we talked a bit and so we got into this col collaboration that way Would you like to collaborate with other singers in the future? Yes, I would, but uh, it's difficult to get the ones you want very difficult and uh, you sort of have to know people personally yeah. To to to, uh, I I would do the same. I mean, I wouldn't uh, work with anyone I don't know personally. It's just the thing that people do in the business. And and for for this album, we we don't have anybody. Um, there are some people we'd like to get, but we don't know them. <laughs> and also, you had a couple of bonus tracks that were covers of Pantera and Iron Maiden. What made you choose those songs? That's a very simple story. We we were driving through Germany. Uh, 
in, in our little van uh, many, many years ago. And uh, I asked my bandmates, what's your favorite song ever? Uh, sort of a boring <laughs> situation, nobody was talking. And uh, <laughs> to avoid falling asleep, I just tried to start a conversation. What's your favorite song ever? And, and uh, we all came to one song and I, I thought, hey, good idea to just make a cover of, of our f each band member's favorite song ever. So um, on, on the, delay of our, the delay of Thrym, uh, the album, we made uh, my favorite song, which is uh, I by Black Sabbath, and then Kare, who was the drummer at the time, his favorite song was, um, oh, the Deep Purple thing. Well, well. And, and uh, for, for the next album, which was um, Vachir, you know, we did Terry's favorite song, and, and uh, Gunnar's, which, which is Cemetery Gates, and, and Where Eagles There. So you think you would do other covers in the future? Well, we have no covers planned at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, not for two albums at least. On this album there, there will be none. But uh, there is, is there a particular song that you would like to cover in the future, personally? Yeah, there are. Uh, I've been working on, on uh, arranging some covers. Maybe not for two years, maybe I'll just put it on my YouTube channel or something. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I, I have some, some plans. Can you tell us one or two? No. no. <laughs> secret. Let's keep it secret and yeah, surprise Yeah, at least until, uh, until I get closer to releasing it. But would you cover songs that are not metal? Absolutely. Like maybe folk music. Something. Yeah, maybe pop music. Even pop. <laughs> so which brings the question, what do you like to listen to? I like to listen to a lot of music and uh, it changes slowly over time what I listen to. Um, before, before we go on, on the stage, I like to listen to music that uh, I find very uplifting, like uh, uh, Motley Crue, Iron Maiden, Wasp, uh, Metallica, uh, pop metal from <laughs> Europe, like, uh, or, or from Scandinavia, like, uh, like uh, the band Europe and, and uh, TNT. Um, when I'm relaxing, I like to listen to like, folk music, maybe Norwegian folk metal or, or, or uh, like real soft music like Enya for example, classical music a lot also, um, pop music, um, bands I listen to over and over again are, are Amanda Marth and, and Winter Sun, uh, TNT, Enya, uh, Bergtat from Norway, uh, and, and different things. I make playlists w w that have you know, radically different music on it. Thinking back uh, when you started your music career, what made you decide to become a musician? Uh, music was really the only thing that I could <laughs> convince myself to do on, on, on a... Uh, Regular basis. Not, yeah, well, what should I say? I, w I was putting so much time into it that, that if I wanted to do anything at, at like an international level, music was going to be it. I wanted to become uh, a linguist at one point, but uh, <laughs> my uh, uh, the, the amount of work I was putting into it was just not enough. But I was putting ridiculous amounts of work into music, and uh, it was clear to me when I was 27 that if, if I was going to do anything professionally, it was going to be music. So now at this point of your career, what are your expectations for the future of the band? Um, well, right now, I hope we're going to release this album and, and uh, be successful with it, um, like with the last album, and uh, do a lot more touring than we have done in, in the recent past. Um, so that's really what I look forward to, releasing the album and, and uh, getting back to playing festival shows and tours. Do you have other touring plans after this one? Yeah, we have, a, we have some festivals in Europe and uh, some tours. Um, not planned in detail yet, but we're going to tour Europe after we release the album. We're going to go to uh, South America, uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, and um, what else is on the schedule? Israel, um, China, Japan, and uh, South Korea, I think. Everywhere, pretty much. Yeah, no Australia and no Africa. <laughs> no yet. No. <laughs> okay, enjoy the rest of the tour and thank you for the interview. Thank you, thanks for doing it. Thank you.
spot.